What's up? I'm Nyjay and I'm back on your screen with another video. And for those of you who don't know me, welcome to my channel. For those of you who know me, you know what I'm on. Today, I will be eating a seafood broil. I baked mine. I made it myself. I made the sauce and everything. I only eat corn, potato, and crab legs. So that's all I have in here. But I will be telling a little something about myself. Something that a lot of people don't know. People always ask me like, why did you move to Las Vegas? And what made you move there? And da 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 da. So I'm gonna tell you, but I'm gonna start from the beginning. So I've been in Vegas for almost three years now. I moved to Vegas a week after my 21st birthday. A couple days after Thanksgiving. So, bless him. So I had planned to move to Vegas a few months before I actually left. So me and my ex were not together anymore. We moved out here together. And when we moved out here, he actually came first. So people are like, oh, you're only moving to Vegas because of him. You're going to be back and blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I'm not only moving to Vegas because of him. I'm like, yeah, he's coming too. But I'm like, whether we're together or not, I'm going to be living in Vegas. I don't need him to be out there with me, you feel me? But him coming here with me, that was like a bigger motivation because I already wanted to leave. I had already was planning on moving to Florida. Me and my cousin said we was going to move to Florida. Even though I knew she was going to move with me because she has like a big support system out there in Michigan. And she's big around her family or whatever. I'm not. I was always at home. Me and my roommates, I had roommates. I had rented out my other rooms or whatever. It was always us. Like, my family didn't come to my house. I would invite them for holidays, and they didn't come to my house. You feel me? So, I was also myself. People like, you gonna miss people. You ain't gonna miss people being around. I'm like, people wasn't really around when I lived there. You feel me? So, I was gonna move to Florida. I didn't move to Florida. Then I was gonna go to job court, but I decided not to go to job court because... You only get to go home on the weekends, and it's not a guarantee that I was going to be able to make money while I was there. And I don't like being broke, so I didn't want to be there and be broke. I still had bills to pay, you feel me? I had my own apartment. I had bills to pay, so I didn't want to go. They said I was going to come back every weekend, I was going to be able to do hair, but it wasn't a guarantee because I was going to still have to find a way to get back home. And then I really was going to be doing hair for one day because I was going to be back, having to go back that Sunday night. So it was just too much. So I'm like, nope, I'm not going. Then I ended up meeting my ex. We was together. We weren't even together for that long. Maybe for like six months before we moved out here. So he came to visit. I'm like, you trying to move out there? He swear he wasn't trying to move here. He swear to God he wasn't lying. I know he wants to move here. But I'm like, we can move out there or whatever. He like, I ain't finna be living here. This is just, I'm just coming to visit my pops and da-da-da-da-da. So anyways, he was out here for like a month. I came to visit. And I came to visit for Sweetest Day. I stayed out here for like a weekend or a week. I can't remember how long I was here. I went back home. I had already was planning on leaving. I told my family, like, I'm moving to Vegas. they like, no, you're not. No, you're not. I'm like, I am. I'm really moving. Like, I'm dead serious moving. I've already planned it out. I'm going. They're like, so you got an apartment? How you know you're going to do? I'm like, I'm going to just go out there and figure it out. I'm like, I'm going to stay in Airbnbs, Uber, do what I do. So, build my clients up, whatever. So... I ended up moving out here. So my ex came back for my birthday. I had a 21st birthday ball. It was like a little adult thing prom. It was fun. I had so much fun. I was so drunk. I don't even remember everything that happened after we left. I just know I was super drunk. But went back. We stayed. We were supposed to leave that weekend of my party after my party. But I remembered it was Thanksgiving because I had totally forgot. So we ended up staying until Thanksgiving. Then we drove back out here. I had just got a car like a month or so ago. We drove out here. And that shit took 34 hours. 34 hours. That shit took forever. I would never take that drive again for real. <coughs> shit. But that shit took forever. That shit was dead. And it was snowing hella hard when we got to Colorado. Almost crashing. We almost crashed into a truck. I wasn't driving. But I grabbed the wheel because this nigga was about to crash into the truck. I, like, knocked this down into a ditch. But, 
Anyways, <laughs> so we moved out here. We stayed in Airbnbs. I like moved us from Airbnb to Airbnb. But a lot of people don't know. I didn't always stay in them Airbnbs. I low key slept in my car for a while. So I was like homeless for a while. But I was in the Airbnb too. The only reason I didn't go to the Airbnb so much because spending money on Air Spending money on Airbnbs a lot, that shit get expensive, you feel me? And then it was going to take forever for us to move if we kept paying for Airbnb. So I'm like, fuck it. We can sleep in the car. I don't really give a fuck. So we sleep in the car. But that shit was hella stressful a little bit. But it was worth it because I made it so far. And I'm glad that I did it. I didn't tell my family because they wouldn't have liked it. And they would have made me come back. <laughs> well, tried to because I'm grown. I wasn't going to come back no matter what. But I just didn't want to hear their mouth. But, I did that for like six months. I got my first place in June. We moved out here, like I said, around Thanksgiving. So, that was in November. End of November. That shit was a lot. I ain't even gonna lie. But, it, it was cool. I saved up. I was driving. I started building up my clients. Had my car. Finally got my place. I moved us in. It was a lot. It was. But, it was so worth it. Like, I had gained so much weight during that time because... We was eating fast food every day. Like, we was literally eating fast food every day. It wasn't nothing else to eat, you feel me? It wasn't nothing. We tried to eat some healthy shit, but that shit's expensive. And I was trying to save to move. Fuck all that. Let me have a little setback because this nigga, it was a lot. But when I first moved here, I used to go back to Michigan, like, every month. And I would stay for, like, two or three weeks. I really used to go out there so I could... Make money. I used to make big lump sums of money because I was gone. Whenever I came back, everybody wanted their hair done. So I was booked up the whole time. I was there the whole two, three weeks. I'm booked. So I used to make money. I saved that money up. And we moved into an apartment. And it was a lot. It was. But I make way more money than I've living out here than I've ever made in Michigan. And I did hair in Michigan for like eight years. I had a big clientele, but I didn't make as much money as I make here. I charge a little more out here because people are willing to pay. People out there, they were cheap. I ain't gonna lie. They were cheap, so it was a lot. But I moved here, built my shit up. I met a lot of people. I know a lot of people. I still be bored out of my mind, but it's the same bored I was when I lived in Michigan. No different. But, yeah, I, I, I'm glad that I did it. I've been out here for three years. I got my, I've got i had my own place since, since June. My bills get paid on time. I don't be struggling like how I used to struggle out there. And it's crazy. I used to struggle in Michigan. And I lived in low-income apartments. My bills was hella cheap. My bills are like a time and a half, maybe double, double what they used to be out there. And I really be maintaining it. And I really shock myself all the time because I shock myself all the time because whenever I take on a new bill or a new responsibility, I always be thinking. I don't get stressed out as much as I used to. Like, I used to stress about everything. Now, when stuff happens to me, I just be like, whatever. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. I got it. I ain't even no need to stress over it because I always come through for myself. But whenever I get a new bill, I'm like, damn. Am I going to be able to afford this for real? Maybe I'm thinking too hard. I'm thinking that I can do this and I can't. But I always do it. I always do it. I love it. I haven't had to work for nobody in. I had one job when I moved out here. I worked at a call center for a couple months. I wasn't, they always used to like, the schedule was bull, so I didn't work all the time. You had have us off for weeks at a time on some bull. How about they ain't got no work for us and whatever. So, used to do that. I stopped working there and I didn't go back to a job. I did hair the whole time. And I survived. I did hair. I was driving Uber Eats, all that good stuff. I struggled a little bit at first. Moving into the apartment, paying that rent. And then me and my ex had broke up, and then I was paying that rent. 
it was a little stressful, but I was determined and I made it happen. I was out there. I did that. And I moved. I upgraded. Got a new car because my other car had went out. I was out of a car for a few months. Stressful. But luckily, I had my place already. I, I haven't been through a lot of stuff that people don't know about. Really, because I don't really be caring to tell people. Because I don't give a fuck about their opinion. <laughs> but life is good. Can't complain. And we only can go up from here. I'm working on myself better to get myself together. I'm trying to uh I'm trying to touch six figures by the beginning of next year. I mean by next year I need to be making six figures, period. Not by the beginning, because it got to be the whole year. You feel me? I got to make it for the whole year. But, yeah, by next year, I'm trying to be making six figures. And then, once the year is up, I'm trying to move to Georgia. And that's going to be my last place, I think. I might stay in Georgia forever, but I know I don't want to be in Vegas. Like, when I start having kids or raising kids, I don't want to raise them in Vegas. And it's. I don't like their rules out here. It's hella irritating. Hella stupid. But I went through a lot of shit dealing with that man. I ain't gonna lie. People used to be like, oh. When we broke up. People like, y'all broke up when y'all break up? I'm like, nigga, we've been broke up. They're like, wow, I thought y'all was together all this time and you still out there? You don't be seeing him? Like, no, I don't be seeing that man. I've probably seen him like two or three times since we broke up, since he moved out of my house. I do not be seeing him. I don't fuck with him. I don't want to fuck with him. I don't give a fuck about him, period. I don't, honestly. But I went through a lot of shit with him and I still stayed. People thought I was going to come back when we broke up. I'm like, no, I'm not coming back. Like, my life is good here, like... Even though I'm struggling a little bit, I'm still maintained. But now I'm stable. I'm not struggling. I'm able to take my god kids on trips. I'm able to fly them out here, but still be able to see them. And those of you who know, I have a lot of god kids. Six to be exact. So I'm doing pretty good with my life. Pretty good. And <laughs> people be asking me like, so you only do hair and you really be surviving? You don't, you don't work at a job? I'm like, no, I cannot work for people. I tried to get a job. La was it last year? I think last year. I tried to get a job like last July or something like that. I went to Amazon. It was an easy job. I was there for three days. I pulled up the fourth day and I sat in the car I'm like, nope, I can't do this. I hate working for people. I hate having to get up on other people's schedule. I can't go sit on when I want to. I can't take a nap in between. Like, ugh, I can't. I can't make my own schedule. I couldn't do it. And the day before, one of the little supervisors had already irritated me. I'm like, I don't have to take this. I really just came to see if I could get a job and I wanted that extra money. But I just was like, nope, I don't have to take this. So I stopped going. I left. <laughs> And I ain't been working since. I only be doing here. And I barely drive. Like when I used to, even though I had clients, when I first moved here, I used to have to drive a lot. That shit put a lot of wear and tear on my car. But now, I don't have to drive that much. I drive a couple times a week. Maybe for like an hour or so a day if I drive a few more times a week or whatever. But I used to drive every day for like six hours out the day. Like. I'll do a hair. If I had hair to do that day, I'll do that hair. And then I'm driving for the rest of the day, all day. But I lived in my car. So me driving all day, it was nothing. So every time I used to be Uber, my family used to be calling, like, why are you always in the car? I'm like, I'm doing orders. Like, dang, y'all all in my business. I never lied, though. I never lied. I just didn't tell them. When I was in the car, I was really doing orders. I never lied about the situation. I just didn't tell I was staying at Airbnbs. Whenever I would talk to them, they see me inside of a house, <laughs> and they know I was in the house. I was safe. That's all they needed to know. 
I was good. I didn't have no problems. I didn't ever get robbed. Nothing. I was fed. They got to see me. And that's all that matters. But I know I would never do that again. <laughs> Even though it, it turned out great for me. I love that I actually made the decision. It was a sacrifice I was willing to make. But I'm good right here. I'm not struggling to where I just feel like I need to up and leave like that. And I don't have people counting on me every fucking way. Like when I lived in Michigan, I was always helping other people. People always calling me for something or need something. And it's like hard to say no sometimes because I be understanding. Like, damn, what if I'm in that situation and I need help? Who gonna help me? So I be understanding. But I couldn't do it no more. That shit was holding me back. So I left. But now this time when I leave, when I move to Georgia, I'm not going to up and leave like I did. I'm about to start going out there, visiting, building my clientele up. And then I already got the savings account. I'm saving for a house. By the time I get my down payment for my house, take a long time to save though because even though I add money to it all the time, it still be taking a while. Because I still be having bills and shit. And then I'll be taking the kids on vacations and shit. But it's cool. I'll be moved to Georgia within the next year or two. I want to have try to have like 10000 down for a house. Maybe more if I can. But. Within the next year or two, I should be out there. My client's going to be built up. I'm going to start going out there every two to three months. Well, every like two months. I'm going to start going out there. Go my clients up, go buy me a house out there, and then I'm smooth. So I'm planning this out. I didn't have that much time to plan the last time I left, like on a splurge. It's like, fuck it, let's go. And I left. I still have my apartment in Michigan, though. Had my apartment in Michigan. I used to go back and stay there. And then I got rid of it, like, that summer of me moving into my apartment in Vegas. I turned out okay. I turned out okay. I'm proud of myself. Some people would say it was a dumb decision. I think it was smart. Hmm. I ain't got no kids. But I always try to encourage people to move. But people who want to move here, people that I know, like, I don't mind them moving here and me here if y'all got kids because that make it harder. I be in the house. I can watch your kids. I do not mind at all. Like, if you want to really move and get your shit together and leave, I'll definitely help you with them kids. I can offer a few people to come stay. Maybe I can scare you. Like, if you want to make that move, make that move. All you need is a little support system. I'm all the support system motherfuckers need, for real. When I lived in Michigan, I was damn near the support system for everybody. I just barely had one. Which is why I'm going. Oh. Shit. I need to get that out of here. Now the shell's stuck in my tube. <laughs> but I'm proud. Would I do it again? Probably. But I think if I did it again, like moved out here on a limb like that with my ex, I probably wouldn't have stayed with him as long as I did. Only reason I stayed with him as long as I did, because when we moved out here, I just knew that shit was going to change, you feel me? And it did. That nigga was a shit. But when we moved out here, we was, he had known people out here, but they wasn't like a support system. Like, we really just had each other, so I'm just like, I can't just leave my man's hanging like that. And I really just didn't want to be my myself either, I ain't going to lie. Like, damn, I don't really know that many people out here, but I did, but I did. My, then after a while, I was just like, fuck it, it don't even matter. I'm, I'm doing this, I've been doing this, I'm good. Nick, man just barely was helping. His little help was barely scratching the dent on what the hell I was taking care of. So, I finally said, fuck him. I don't give a fuck if he was out here by himself or not. I don't care who he got. <laughs> That's the reason why I moved in the first place, is so I didn't have to be people support system like that so 
Yeah, that happened. And now, look at me now. I'm here all alone. I don't plan on moving back to Michigan ever in life. I hate it there. Every time I go visit, I get so irritated. <laughs> I've been trying to get everybody to come visit here, but they be playing. My brother's been. But everybody else be playing. But let me get off here. I don't want to make this video all extra, extra, extra long. It's already damn near almost 20 minutes. But thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed my little story time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. And I'm out.